Hello everyone, James Green with EFI again, uh, bringing you a quick video, a little more uh, information about how our free form create could be useful to your customers who do variable data. Um, we talk about free form create not being a replacement for, you know, real va variable data software programs like, uh, you know, um, Xerox's uh, XMPy or uh, some of the other ones that are out there, but you know, we talk about simple variable data and uh, simple doesn't mean uh, that you have to exclude certain capabilities like exchanging pictures for variable. So don't think about exchanging variable just with addressing. You can do way more than just addressing swap outs and name swap outs. <clears throat> so you can swap out uh, pictures and I'm going to show you how that works. So uh, really to take advantage of it is you would want to create an Excel file that has all the data and let's say those are your variable fields that you're going to be using to create uh, in this case we're doing a real estate postcard um, so the secret is in that variable uh, data file so I'm gonna bring up the one that I did here and so this one again I said is a real estate postcard and so you can see in here I've got name first last name is a is a you know field address, city, state, zip, uh, type of home, uh, featured home, the address, property description, the list price, the agent's name, call to action, their phone number, email address, a greeting, hi Bob, my name Sheila Johnson, blah, blah, blah. And then over here you'll notice, look, I've got a reference to images. And so, you know, having a title to what those images are, you have to have in a column, but then this is the path. And basically what it's saying is dot slash home in dot JPEG. Home in dot JPEG is the name of the picture. The slash is representing that it can be anywhere. Just look for that name, but it's got to be on the share where you're performing the action. All right. So I took all the pictures and copied them into a folder on my virtual fiery uh, and put them in a, a folder called pictures. And, uh, it will find those when I'm doing a uh, freeform create. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to launch my freeform create, uh, and this is the actual postcard. Now, this one I've already done. So, what I did in order to bring it up is I opened the FFP file. All right, when you save a document in freeform create, it saves it as an FFP. That gives me the ability to go into freeform create and say open you know, an FFP, right? When I do that, it, it, that's, this is what you're looking at. I've already taken all of my text fields and dragged them into the place that I want it to. Uh, along with those text fields are my images that are down here, uh, right here. So all these images I dragged into the place where I wanted them. I, you know, did all my, uh, all my pre-press functions. Now what I want to do is kind of preview it and see what's happening. So now if I go to preview on this card, you can see my names from my Excel spreadsheet are now populating and it will let me go through each one of these and see how the information is being pulled off of that Excel document and how it's populating into the card. <clears throat> All right, and this is a two page right front to back postcard. Um, so what we should see is a place where the name of the person we're addressing their you know, uh, mailing address will be on there. Whatever images are associated with the house uh, that we included in that Excel document. And for each person or each record, um, all that information will swap out according to the way it was uh, established in the Excel file. So unfortunately, this is taking a minute because we're on a virtual fire here and it's got to load all that up. But I just want you guys to know that it's, you know, you, it's not just addressing. You don't use freeform create just to do simple addressing. You you can get very uh, specific. I don't know why this is taking so long. There we go. All right, so now you can see um, before what we were looking at was just the um, headers, if you will. Now we're pulling in the address. We're pulling in the list price, the name of the agent. Here's the, you know, the feature home picture. Hi, Bob. My name's Sheila. If we go to uh, 
image number two over here. Um, we will see, come on. There, now we see these other pictures that were pulled in. Uh, some more information, um, Bob's name will be here, his mailing address. There's Bob Welch. And then if I go to Stanley, let's see if this changes. I, I, I don't know which people are getting different pictures. Yeah, I apologize, it's taking so long. <clears throat> So then again, of course, the power of all of this is your customer is getting a, a preview of how this is going to look before they ever send it to the Fiery. And then, of course, they don't have to save this as a PDF and then send it to the Fiery and set up and lay out the job. They can click the button to send it to the Fiery from here and use any kind of presets they have that already duplicates this job the way they want. So, for instance, if they're putting this on 13 by 19 and they're doing, you know, six up, uh, and they're using impose they can have that uh, layout already attached uh, to a preset and then they select their preset from here and the job will go over using the imposition templates and the layout with the gutters and the bleeds and the cut marks everything they need this job is you know just as simple as making sure the papers loaded and putting a quantity in actually you don't even have to put a quantity in. it's going to do it by the variable so there you go you can see that that's a different different house different list price different everything and it's going to show us page two because that's what we selected. So you can see, I think you get the example here. You can see that you don't you don't have to use Freeform Create for just that simple addressing. You can be creative in your your Excel file, and you can use pictures to be swapped out based on each user. So if you need more information about this, you know, go to um, our learning center. Uh, we have a lot of videos about how to use Freeform Create. You can go to our website and type up in the search bar. Freeform Create, and it'll take you to the landing page. And there are there is a kit that you can download. And in that kit, you will get all of these. I'll show you real quick. I downloaded the kit. What you'll get is something like what you're looking at right here on my screen. You'll get um, a folder with sample applications that are based on all these categories, a flyer. Uh, a ticket, specialty color, uh, a postcard, diploma, business card, label. And inside of that is, here's when it's exploded, real estate. Inside of it is the Excel file, uh, the pictures that are relative with that, the PDF itself, and if there was a saved FFP, which is right here, you'll have that. So you've got everything you need to get started with showing customers how to use this, and they've got stuff that they can use here and they can um, you know change it up to fit their application so freeform create don't forget about it. it's a great powerful free tool that you get just because you're bought a fire all right thanks guys happy selling